in your life. God wants to use your life mightily. And tonight I will talk about how to build up his in the prayer, how to build a strong relationship with God and have strength from the Lord all the time and have strong anointing to pray for people. And at the same, same time you enjoy the prayer that you have strength and also when you pray for people, they will experience the Holy Spirit. And you can lead them to Christ by praying for them. And renew the spiritual life when you pray for them. Before I go into the message, I'm going to demonstrate praying for a woman and a man. You, you can come up. A man and a woman. Who hunger for a stronger anointing of the Holy Spirit. So is there a man and a woman who hungers for the presence of God for a strong anointing? You come for a demonstrate praying for people. So anyone want to come up here? One woman and one man. To encourage you that you can have the anointing to pray for people. Okay, anyone here? One woman. And then one man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come up, come up here. Come up here, please. Sit right here. Please, please. And would you have uh, two catchers behind them? Can two catchers come up behind them? <laughs> and then can a man come and hold my mic? I don't know I'm telling Hallelujah. Amen. And you can Stand up and pray together too. You can stand up and pray together. For an anointing to come upon them. Okay. Now open your heart to God. Hunger for God. Hunger for God from our spirit. We want a stronger anointing of the Holy Spirit. We want a strong presence of God to come to bless us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
We want you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now in the prayer, we could experience peace, burdens go away, comfort to the heart, or comfort to the body, and some people experience love or joy. Let me ask you both. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Any of this Peace and comfort burdens go away. I have the hunger for to pray more. Okay. Now, pay attention to yourself. Have you noticed any peace and comfort to your heart? How ready to get a little? Are we to get a piece of the whole 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 Now the Lord is real. He will come to us when we open our heart to God. And, and I hope that we're all hunger for God, for strong the presence of God. In 1998, an evangelist laid hands on me. And immediately I experienced love flowing to me. I experienced great power like electricity. I cried for a long time. And I said, I didn't know that I could experience God like that. And I spent much time praying every day. One day when I cried to Jesus, Lord Jesus, <laughs> immediately I felt power go through me. And I try again. Again, the power came through me. I said, This is really great. Then I can experience His presence. And then later, I experience the joy of the Lord. Every time when I hunger for God, I can feel joy. Flowing out. Hallelujah. <laughs> the joy just keeps coming out. And I have prayed for many people. They experience love and joy. And healing. And demons being driven out. We have to all learn to how to open our heart to hunger for God. For a stronger presence of God. When we have an open heart, anytime we think of Jesus, His, His presence will come to us. So here today I will talk about how to build up that strong relationship with God. And have strength all the time. And have strong anointing. Now for each person we pray for that degree the experience might be different. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I have prayed for someone and she fell down and then she she said she went up to heaven. And then she saw Jesus. And Jesus took away the burdens from her heart. I pray for someone and the cancer goes away right away. That she has spread cancer and had pain for over a month. And 
And in the prayer, she found some darkness left her. And instantly she felt the pain went away. And when she went back to the doctor to check, the doctor said she has no more cancer. God can do great things to different people. But it doesn't matter what God does. We just faithfully pray for people. We just faithfully pray for people. Okay, now how to build up this strong anointing in the prayer? And also have strong anointing in intercession, praying for the city. The first key is believe that God really loves us. And he really wants to bless us in every different way. That God really loves each one of you very strongly. We can see the love of God everywhere. When you drink water, it feels good, right? Do you like drinking water? And when you eat, do you like food? This is from God. And then you notice that God speaks to our heart all the time. And do wonderful wonderful things in our heart and perform miracles in our life. These are all proofs that God really loves us very much. You know, when I arrived yesterday uh, to uh, hear something happened, when I was supposed to transfer from Johannesburg, I overslept when I was waiting and I missed the plane. And the people told me to go up to the counter to rebook my ticket. So that could cost more money. And it would take more time to get, uh, you know, to come here. And I pray to God, God, you have a way to solve this problem. I just believe that God has a way to solve the problem. I don't know what God would do. And the person at the counter said, we cannot do anything for you. You have to go back to your agent and ask an agent to rebook your ticket. And at that time, everything seemed difficult. And then I called my agent, and my agent said, talk to the woman. And I said, I talked to her already, and she said, there's nothing she can do. And I prayed to God, Lord, please solve this problem for me. And I went back to the counter and asked the woman, can you do something? And she said, no, I cannot do anything. I told you already. I said, try. <laughs> and she made a phone call. And then she said, the, the plane has come back. Actually, the plane never left the airport. The plane has problem flying. So he turned back. <laughs> and so she said, you, you can get on the same plane now. And 
I never thought of God doing something like that. <laughs> because God knows our needs. God loves us. God cares about us. He can do great things for you. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these things will be given to you. And then yesterday, there was still another problem. Because of the transfer, the luggage was not put under the plane. And we call again and again, and then they said, we, we don't know where the luggage is now. And last night I prayed to God. The thought just came into me because I was supposed to go on the first plane and I went on the second plane and the luggage was in the first plane. But when they discovered I was not there, they would take the luggage out. So God put this thought in my heart. And this morning when the apostle went to the airport with me, I told the woman this, you know, about this thing, the luggage will be in the first plane, and then it was taken out. And then I asked her to call and find out. The night before, they said they lost the luggage. And this morning when she called, she said the luggage will come in the next plane. <laughs> they found it after I told her what happened. Because humanly speaking, I was afraid someone took my luggage and walked away. But God gave me the thought last night when I prayed. I just want to tell you that God cares about you. No matter what problem you are in, no matter what problem you are in now, don't think that God is far away. So when you pray, don't say, Lord, where are you? Where are you? The Bible tells us that He is loving us right now. In Romans chapter 8, verse 38 to 39, that Paul said, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Neither death nor life, angels, neither angels nor demons or anything, any power can separate us from the love of God. So the love of God is clinging to you all the time. Now look at me. If this is you, this pulpit represents you. I represent God's God's love will be like this. He's holding on to you all the time. There is nothing that can separate you from His love. His love is with you all the time. You know, when you pray, you can feel the peace of God. That came from the love of God. Some people would feel burdens go away. That comes from the love of God. And some people experience the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> that comes from the love of God. Be convinced that God is loving you all the time. Can you tell the person next to you, God is loving you all the time. There is nothing that can separate you from the love of God. 
He's holding on to you all the time. So when you pray, you say God is loving me now. For sure he will hear my prayer. When we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to us. And in Psalm 139 verse 5, that God you have enclosed me behind and be before you are in front of me and behind me and you are laying your hands on me so God is in front of us and behind us all the time and laying his hand on us all the time to bless us. Now how do we know that? You notice God's presence. When you pray to God, you can experience his presence. Because God is with you. I know a woman that one time she was hit by a car the hit was not strong the hit was not strong she fell to the ground when she hit the ground the, the hit was stronger than the hit by the car and she hurt at her shoulder but immediately, she was not even praying, she felt the presence of God with her. She said, on the ground there, I can experience God's presence. God cares about us all the time. So when we pray, don't say, God, where are you? Believe that God is speaking to our heart all the time. He's trying to move our heart to come close to Him. That He never forgets us. In Isaiah chapter 49 verses 15 to 16. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast? Even when she forgets the baby. I will not forget you. That God remembers us all the time. Let me tell you, all the time I'm thinking of Jesus loving me all the time. Thinking about me all the time. This faith is very important. Whenever I think about God's love, I can feel his love right away. I can feel his love in even, even in the middle of the night. When I wake up, I have the habit of crying of Jesus right away. And immediately I can experience his love. So when we pray, don't say, God, where are you? But say, Lord, I know you're right here. You are blessing me. <laughs> you are caring about me. You are in front of me and behind me. You are laying your head upon me. As you know, many Africans were taken to America and different places to be slaves. This is a very sad thing. And then when the master said to the slave, come to me. The slave has to come. The slave cannot say no. If he says no, he will be beaten. 
Let me ask you, is God a slave? Is God your slave? No. But he serves you more faithfully than a slave. He serves you 24 hours a day. 365 days a year. With no vacation. God is not our slaves. But he serves us more faithfully than a slave. And with a happy heart to bless us. When I think about the love of Jesus. I say I don't deserve the love of Jesus. God's love is so great. I have not found anyone like that in the whole world. You know, I have a wonderful wife. I carry her pictures with me all the time. In my wallet here, I have a wonderful wife. In my cell phone, in my notebook, in my computer, I have her pictures. She thinks about me all the time. But her love for me is incomparable to the love of God, which is much, much greater. And I love God much more than I love her. I do treasure her a lot. And I want to build up a good relationship with her. But above all, I want to build up a strong relationship with God. So every time when you pray, say this, the Lord is with me. Hallelujah. <laughs> The Lord is blessing me. The Lord cares about me. He knows my needs. He has the way to solve my problems. So have confidence. Many people pray like this. They're down below. And say, Lord, help me, lift me up. But we can pray with this heart. We are with God in heaven. And you say, God is a way to solve my problem. God will help me. Let me ask you, is it difficult to walk through a desert? Des to walk through a desert, is it difficult? Very difficult, right? To fly through a desert, is it, is it difficult to fly? Is it difficult? No. With God, you can fly through difficulties. Like me with the plane yesterday. And with the luggage today. And with my many other difficulties. So every time you pray, you say, the Lord is with me. He helps me. He's with me. I'm in heaven with him. I don't have to worry. Hallelujah. This faith is very important. When I pray for revival, I don't pray like this. Oh Lord Jesus, please bring revival. We need revival. Please come and bring revival. I don't pray like that. I will say this. Lord, you want revival. It's the people who are not willing. You really want to revive your people. Lord, change your heart. Anytime you change your heart, anytime we turn to you, then we can be revived. 
Even tonight, your life can be revived tonight. When you say God really cares about me, God really loves me, God wants to use me mightily. I can be used by God in a mighty way. I want, I want to follow God to faithfully. And your life will be revived right away. You don't have to wait for a quick, quick, very big revival. God wants to revive your life today. So every time I pray, I say, Lord, you want to bless us. It's us who bless your blessings. It's us who bless your blessings. Help us to submit to you. Now I'm going to talk about a prayer of grace. Prayer of grace. What this prayer is, is a prayer to declare the grace of God. To help us to have strength. To believe that God is right here to bless us. This prayer will help you to give you strength and help you to enjoy the presence of God. To stay in the presence of God all the time. I invite you to stand up right now. I lead you in the prayer of grace. And I ask this lady to come up. Just now you want to come up to pray, to be prayed for. Right now I'm going to pray for you while leading the prayer. Come up here. She asked, you know, she started to walk up just, just now. But then someone else came before her. Close her eyes. Everyone, close her eyes. I'm going to lead a prayer of grace. Declaring the grace of God. Oh, Heavenly Father, we praise you. You're loving us right here now. You're caring for us right now. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus, you are with us all the time. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is blessing us. The Lord is loving us. Hallelujah. So every time when you pray, declare the grace of God. The Lord, the Lord is loving me. The Lord is blessing me. The Lord is with me. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, the Lord is in front of me and behind me. Can you say it with me? The Lord is in front of me. And behind me. The Lord is laying his hand upon me. The Lord is blessing me. He has a wonderful plan in my life. I can enjoy God. I can live in the presence of God all the time. I am precious in the sight of God. You, you say it, please. Everyone say it. The Lord really cares about me. Everyone say it. The Lord loves me all the time. The Lord wants to bless me. The Lord is with me. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is so good. Now this is a prayer of grace. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now I ask you, have you experienced anything during the prayer? Are we the same? Describe what you experience. The love of God. The love of God. The grace of God. So when we believe in God's love, His love will come. How? How do you la mudimo ka lor tala how le tla tla? Now notice how I pray for her. Notice how I pray for her. I just lift my heart to God. 
I just love God with all my heart. And then I, when I touch her, I feel the love of God. I just love God with all my heart. When we love God like that, we can carry the anointing of God. Thank you very much. God bless you. When we love God like that, we can carry the anointing of God. Thank you very much. God bless you. Now when you do this prayer of grace, you can spend a long time enjoying the love of God. Now continue in the, in the prayer and enjoy God's presence. At the same time, look at me. Look at me. And think about the love of Jesus. The Lord is loving me. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and enjoy the peace that comes to you. Enjoy the peace that comes to you. At the same time, sometimes we are weak. But when you know that God is loving us, then we'll be strengthened. And then we can respond with prayer and worship. Praise and worship. Praise and worship is what we offer to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I worship you. I love you. I need you. This is from us. Now, can you distinguish? You can be seated. Distinguish these two kinds of prayer. I'm going to conclude with this. The prayer of grace is to say, The Lord is loving me. It's from heaven to us. God is caring for me, God is blessing me. And then, praise and worship is, I love you, Lord. It, it's from me to God. Okay, I'm going to give you a quiz now. I'm going to say a, one sentence and you tell me, is, is it prayer of grace or worship? So you can say grace or worship. Okay. Okay. The Lord is loving me. What is this? What is this? Grace. This is grace. It's God, what God wants to do. To I, I thank you, Lord. What is this? That's worship. The, the Lord is with me. That's great. Very good. You're learning very fast. The Lord cares about me. What is that? That's great. Very good. Now, I thank you for loving me. What is this? There are two parts. I thank you, God, for loving me. Thank you, God. What is it? That's worship. Thank you, God. That's worship. And then, for loving me. What is that? Grace, you can put the two together. So when you pray, you can keep saying, The Lord is loving me. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is with me. Now stand up. I just have this. Can you stand up? The Lord is with us. The Lord is so good. The Lord cares about each person here. The Lord is going to do great things through us. The Lord is going to bless us. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord, for your love. You care about us. You care about us. You want to do great things through us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Oh, I enjoy you, God. I enjoy you, God. I appreciate you, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> you love us all the time. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Thank you all. So, now, I want to say for the next few days, I will be doing training and uh, 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 
uh, Pastor Wickfield, uh, Apostle Wickfield's church. Training for ministry. Training for praying for people. And counseling. And maybe preaching and other areas of ministry. And so you're welcome to come. It'll be in the evenings. Uh, in the evenings. Okay, if you have questions, you can ask him. Thank God.